Hello, hello. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Hmm. Hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening, how are you guys? Good evening, teacher. Hi, Heidi, how are you? I'm ready. <laughs> good. That's the attitude. Very good. Okay, remember you can start the class speaking about your classmates, about the traffic. The point is to have a conversation. This Thursday, Thursday, October 14th. Remember the score I told you the game was going to be? Remember? Or the topic? No. Uh, the, the day before yesterday, we were talking about the score of the game, of yesterday's game. Remember, you don't remember. About the... The score, the final score, we thought it would be. I'm lost, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh yeah, it was going to be, uh-huh. It was going to be- I told you we were going to lose, two? right? Yeah, did you say two to zero? <laughs> yeah. yeah. You, sh you should have bet. You should, yeah, have, should you should have bet some money against the select. <laughs> that's, a, that's for sure you, you, you make money that way. Man, I just, I don't know. I know. I'm not into football. Are you into football? Are you into soccer, Haiti? Not really. I just know that I, I like Cristiano a lot. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, Fernando likes Messi. No. Ooh. Oh, I mean, yeah. I, I like Real Madrid. Real Madrid? Okay. Do you like Cristiano Ronaldo? Yes. <laughs> okay, that's been recorded, people. <laughs> Just kidding. How was your job today, Fernando? Uh, good. Uh, I'm a little tired, but, but good. Really? You get tired as a software developer? Yes. Uh, when you can, uh, you can fix it. Another a uh, uh, bug or. Or a new feature that you never uh, has to has to had, had has done, done had done, done before. That, that before. Yes, that is uh, difficult because you you spend a lot of time and you you don't reach that you you want to, to reach. You don't reach your goal. Yes. Really? Yeah, not reaching the goal. It's gonna be really frustrating, right? It's gonna be. Really, but uh, I feel I feel I feel very good when I I finish uh, something that I I work hard for to, to to reach. Did you gratify yourself? Did you, yeah? Did you uh, gratify yourself? 
now uh, when I I I I I I like to to say my to say and maybe if I want something for for uh, how do you say recompensar me to gratify to to gratify uh, I I think about that and maybe and I I I I I, I say uh, in a few months I I want to buy something for my for, with my with my work my job. Okay, that's the way you compensate yourself. Yes, if I can, because obviously uh, all here have, have uh, uh, to pay rent or something like that. <laughs> we have to, to pay our... Your debts. My, my debts, yes. <laughs> you know, uh, but gratification could be something small. When I was living alone in 2016, um, I used every time I had a new idea in a class or every time I had a great class and you know how I knew that I had a great class, well, my attitude, my attitude used to tell me everything. You know, I finished the class and I was like, wow, that was amazing. And I used to take notes. So if I was going home to the apartment, uh, walk into my apartment. There was a little store near to the apartment, and I used to buy. Um, how do you say? Uh, hold on. I used to buy some pastry, some pastry, a little quequito de chocolate. You know, I was happy with that. That that was my compensation for the day. It was amazing. I mean, I used to love doing that. Or I used to go to Super Selectos, which was very close and get something to eat, something nice to eat. I was living alone, so. Yes. In my case, uh, I I don't do that uh, uh, often, but uh, if I want a new mouse or new keyboard, new mon monitor, I I have, I I try to, to save money to, pay, to, to, to buy that. So. Okay. That is not, that is an everyday, but. How do you say this in cuando? From time to time. From time to time. I do that. Awesome. And what's the meaning of once in a while? Once in a while, once in a blue moon. Una vez al tiempo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Once in a while. Once in a while. Once in a blue moon. Okay. Man, we have a lot to cover today. So tonight we have to talk about the distribution channels, continuing with the topic. What do you remember about yesterday? What was our topic yesterday? Exactly, how to use enough. <laughs> How to use enough with adjectives. Can somebody give me an example? I don't have enough time to sleep. I don't have enough time to sleep. Perfect. Good job, Ada. Okay. Ada, select somebody. Choose someone. Uh, and you. <laughs> Not me, someone else. Um, okay, number 20. 20, Suleima Yvonne. Hey. <laughs> hey, thank you. <laughs> um, I don't have enough money today. I don't have enough money today. Tomorrow is payday. Yes, but not today. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you were close enough. You were close enough to payday. Okay, did Jav Salema select someone? Uh, name or number? Whichever you prefer. Mm, Johnny. Hi. <laughs> um, um, I don't have. 
Enough time. <laughs> no, she. Uh, that what Ada said that Ada said I don't have enough time to sleep. Okay, Suleima said I don't have enough money. Mm, I don't have enough. Does it have to be negative? Yeah. Water for okay. I don't have clothes. enough water to wash my clothes. Good. I don't have enough water to wash my clothes. I uh, I don't have enough water during the during the day. That's what the doctor said. The doctor said that I have hígado graso and that I'm not drinking enough water every day. That my cholesterol is up in the sky that the triglyceridos are all the way up to and that I must do a diet I, and I was like I've been on a diet for a month no bread no tortillas no rice no carbs that's for me and I'm waiting for the results on the thyroides test to see if I'm hypothyroidico, igual que mis otros hermanos y mi mamá. That's crazy. Okay. Who's next, Johnny? Next is uh, Carolina. Caroline, please. Um, I didn't have enough time to solve the problem they said time already oh okay <laughs> um, me, i don't have enough food okay i don't have enough food yeah tomorrow is payday don't worry good job who's next <laughs> So they said time, they said money, they had they said water. Okay. They said food. Who's next, Caroline? Judy. Good, Judy. Have enough time. Yeah. Do, we said time already. Uh, I don't have enough. Okay. Everyone is big enough to be safe on this pandemic. Everyone is big enough to be safe on this pandemic. And that's a positive sentence. You see, great job. Okay. How do you say, ya estoy lleno usando enough? Ya tuve suficiente, vaya. I'm full enough. Okay. I take that. Ya tuve suficiente. It is enough for me. Hey, good. It's enough for me. That's enough for me. Okay. Ya tuve suficiente. Teacher. Hey. Uh, I have a doubt uh, regarding food. I can say I am full. I'm full. I'm satisfied. You can say that too. I'm satisfied. I'm full. I. Okay. I had enough. I had enough. I had enough. Thank you. Hey. Um, we use would rather too, right? Hmm. Yeah, I would. I would rather. What? I would. Re I no would rather. Piece. I'd rather be than here in this no, I, class. I, I. Oh, good. <laughs> Thank you. That's awesome. You heard. Okay, there's no better place to be rather than being in this class, I think. Yeah, kind of. That's what you said, right? Kind of, yeah, okay. I was thinking about, um, I would rather save enough money than buying luxury, luxurious items. I would rather save enough money for my retirement. <laughs> 
I would rather save enough money for my retirement rather than uh, spending my money on luxurious things, luxurious things. Don't you think? Okay. What is something good enough that you have? What is something good enough that you have? Think about it. What is something good enough that you have? A possession that you love. Okay. Before we answer that question, Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Listen, teacher. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. Good. Come on, Present. really? Yeah, I'm annoying my house. Okay. <laughs> Is your house. I was about to say, leave that place, you know, because it's Thursday. Okay, Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present teacher. Good. Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martinez. Present teacher. Oh, yes. I'm sorry, Elvin. I, I remember now. Don't Ir worry. <laughs> Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Thank you. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present teacher. Thank you. José Antonio Cubías Hernández. José Antonio, not here yet. Okay. José Alberto Salas Benítez. Present teacher. Juan Francisco Enríquez González. Present teacher. And Juan Francisco, you're staying 10 minutes tonight. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present teacher. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present teacher. Thank you. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Good. Roberto Luis Umaño Arellana. There he is. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Thank you. Werner Mauricio Reyes Ángel. Not here yet. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Good. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Suleyma Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Good. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Not here yet. Carolina Yvette Romero Avelino. I'm here. Irene Azucena Cuellar Albanez. Irene, not yet. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Isela's having problems to connect. Iván Manuel Jerez Pérez. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening, welcome. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Not here yet. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. See you. Present. Excellent. Okay, so tell me, what's your, what's an, an object that you love that is good enough, good enough for you? It, it may not be the best thing in the world, you know, but there's always something that you value, an object. I'm not talking about people. I'm talking about an object that you value. Let me give you an example. My car. <laughs> I love my car. It, it's a piece of you know a piece of junk you know it's very old 1978 today I, I i was on the 75th avenue 75th avenue near las pupuserias you know that place right there's always a lot of traffic at this time well at any time during the day there's always traffic there because people you know they park their car on the right side and uh, anyways and this guy on a motorcycle was next to me honking you know honking like wee, 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 wee. he stood right next to me and he goes like man how much do you want for your car and i was like i don't sell it what year is it 1978 it's a classic i love it come on i'll give you three thousand dollars right now i was like no i don't sell it you know i'm sorry I just cough and it hurts. Okay, uh, so that's my thing. You know, I love that car. It's really old, but it, it works. How would you say it doesn't live? It doesn't let me buy 
barefoot. I don't know how to say no me deja pata. <laughs> okay. What is one thing good enough for you? Miguel. Well, in the life, I, I have, I don't know, I have enough patience. Patience? Uh, no, an object, something, something. Even if it is a small, something really small that you value a lot. <laughs> it's gotta be something. Oh. I don't know, or in, in my world, for example, I have enough talent to manage statistics. It's a good for me. It's good for you. Your yeah. talent to study statistics. Okay, yeah. okay, let's go with uh, that then. But I'm talking about objects, something good enough for you, something that fits you, something that you agreed upon. Listen, something that you have agreed upon. You have, sorry, what did you, you say? Have you have agreed upon. Something that you have agreed upon. Agreed. Agreed. Conformarse. Agreed. It's a way to say conformarse. Uh-huh. Shoes. Shoes? Yeah. Shoes, your shoes. Yeah, I mean, men, we agreed upon keeping, you know, the same shoes, especially when you get married. Your shoes last forever. Your clothes last forever because you, you don't care. I mean, unless if you're single, yes, I mean. I have to look good. Right? Okay. I can't believe it. Really? Your TV, it's good enough. I mean, it's, it, the idea is something that you know could be better. It could be better. But you're fine with it. You're fine with it. It's good enough. It's good enough for you. Your wife, your husband. <laughs> Come on, guys. Okay, you don't want to talk. Let's start the talk. No, it's, it's, I, I thought you were, uh, we were going to talk about something we really value, not that we have agreed upon. It's different, right? Uh, yes, I mean, something that you have agreed upon is like, you're okay with it. You don't need it better. You don't need it to be better. Mm, for example, I have this speaker since like two years ago. I already repaired it once. It's broken from this part, but it works. And it sounds really nice. Why should I get another one? Why should I get a bigger one? I can do it. I could buy a better one, a bigger one, but it's okay for me. Okay. That was an example. Look around mm -hmm. you. Look around you. I'm sure you will find something. Something like an object or can be different? That's my, that was my idea, but nobody's like into the topic, an object. Uh, for example, my smartwatch is good enough for me. Yeah, it could be the first generation of smartwatch, but you're fine with it, it works, right? Yeah. Okay. Some people is good enough, it feels good enough. Some people feels good enough being single talking about married right? people <laughs> <laughs> okay are you do you think your salary is good enough do you think your salary no. is good enough so not not for for all the things that i have to do let me tell you something that you have agreed upon let me tell you about something that you have agreed upon without even thinking about it. The pupuseria where you buy your pupusas every Friday. Right? You don't want to go looking around more pupusas. Nah, I'm, I'm, that's good enough. Right? Yes. Okay. You, you found one and you stay there. The same thing happens with your husband, with your girlfriend, your mm -hmm. boyfriend. You go like, ah, that's good enough. <laughs> <laughs> and that that's called self-esteem if you have high self-esteem 
you never give up. You keep looking until you get Britney Spears or Brad Pitt, right? You keep looking. What? I'm handsome. Okay, guys, laugh, please. Come on. Okay. So yesterday, the last thing we did was to describe a little bit about um, some companies, remember? LG, right? Tonight, we have to talk about the distribution channels and how they work uh, in terms of the four Ps. What part of the four Ps involves distribution? Place. 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 Place, right? Okay. So tonight we're going to talk about that, the components of the plays and promotion strategies of a national product. In this class, you will try to, you know, like compare. I think we will review some comparisons, ways of comparing things, because it's not just about comparatives and superlatives, but there's another way to compare. Do you know it? No? Let's start with some grammar really quick. Okay. If you want to say that someone's car is good, like yours, I'm going to say this in Spanish. Okay. Okay. How will you translate this? Your car is as good as mine. Hey, you got it. Your car is as good as mine. And these are called equity comparisons. Okay, equity comparisons. It's when you compare two things that are equal one to each other. This is a way of doing it. Another example. Can this be negative? Can this be a negative comparison? Yes. Come on. Johnny. <laughs> okay. okay, since. Okay, Luis Ernesto. Johnny, okay, go ahead. I forget. <laughs> Remember, always when we look at a new grammar sentence, you can just replace parts of the sentence. Okay. Your car is better than mine is the normal thing to say, but now you're comparing equity. Luis Ernesto, Andres Giovanni, Wendy, Caroline, William, Yuri, come on. Your, your car isn't as good as mine. Oh, you're making it negative, okay. Mm -hmm. Isn't as good as mine, okay. And that would be a negative way of expressing this. Good, okay. That's a good point. Good. Give me another example. Your dog as cute as mine. Your dog is as cute as mine. You got it. Later, later you may use this. Your kids misbehave as bad, I'm sorry, as bad as mine. Your kids misbehave as bad as mine. You got that sentence? No, teacher. And that's a, that's a negative sentence. Tus niños se comportan mal, se comportan tan mal como los míos. Se, se, no, your kids misbehave. 
Say, how do you say this in, in Spanish? Oh my God, behave, comportarse. Misbehave, portarse mal, tan mal como los míos. Okay, so I'm wrong here. Hold on. I'm double, I'm doing ne double negative header. Your kids behave as bad as mine. There you go. Your kids behave as bad as mine. Tus niños se comportan tan mal como los míos, okay? You can do this in many ways. Go ahead. My house is as far as mine. No, your house, sorry. Okay. Your house is as far as mine. As mine, yeah. Uh -huh. You could have said my house is as far as yours. Yeah. Good job. What other ways of comparing things do you know? Beautiful. Come again. La selecta what? La selecta is not, or isn't as good as the Mexico national team. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. A reality, yes. Okay, okay. So you got it. This is another way of comparing other than using comparatives and superlatives to say that something is the best. Okay. And there are other ways we will cover later. Please try to use this. Try to use this more often so we can continue speaking problems with the internet okay i knew this was misspelled comparisons always do the same okay there you go so let's start the topic of today we are on your page 22 and there's a trigger question a trigger question to make you start talking on page 22. Can somebody read the question? Oh, there it is. Let me just show the presentation again. <laughs> okay, we're gonna start here. Can somebody read the questions for today? Someone like, like Irwin? Yes, it should, I am Okay. Irwin, Irwin, yes, go ahead. Okay. Let me see a moment, please. One moment, please. Okay. Let's just start. Was in the process of moving products from the products, the products to the intent use call. How important the placement to research the right target audience. Hmm. Good job. Okay. What is the process of moving products from the producer? Producer to the intended user called. What is this process called? The process of moving products from one place to the intended user, from the producer to the intended user, to the consumer. How important is placement to reaching the right target audience? I will have said four. Is placement for reaching the right target audience. Okay, first question. What is the process of moving products from the producer to the intended user call? How do you call that? Distribution. Distribution. Did you see, um, did you see Naive's Twitter today? About the distribution channel? <laughs> he he, he uh, sent a Twitter talking about the distribution channel, criticizing it. But, he makes everything political and in the end you know yes it is political because at this point humanity i mean we shouldn't have to be so dependent on, on a distribution channel on a distribution channel we should have more than one distribution channel the world is really big we cannot rely we cannot rely on just one distribution channel 
That is Alexander. Okay, I said relay, right? Relay. What is relay? I rely on you guys to speak in the class and you never do it. Come on, you can't rely on me as your teacher. <laughs> to rely. Okay, so what do you think? So the definition is distribution, right? So that's the distribution channel. What distribution channels do you know? Exactly. Uh-huh, that's one of them. <laughs> Are we talking about the transportation? Good. What means of transportation do we have on the distribution channels? Depends on, on the product, right? You can use trucks. Hmm. Okay. Can we transport anything over the sea using, using ships? Mm -hmm. Yes. Even food? No, no. Uh -huh. Food? The, how do you say perecederos? Good point. Mr. Google, please. How do you say perecederos? No. <laughs> Let's see if I remember. Perishables. Perishable items. Uh, Perishable items. Oh, I want to Google. <laughs> there is the problem that Amazon has with the, yeah, with the food. Up the strain in the sheep. Perishables. Perishables. Uh huh. Very good. Thank you. The internet on Google is, is a little slow today, guys. I won. <laughs> Yuri, Yuri, you were saying, Yuri. Uh, Amazon has a problem with that kind of product uh, when they buy fruits. For, for example, when the client received that kind of product, they received damage. Oh, they are receiving damaged. Because the time that they need to distribute that kind of product is 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 long that's why the, the product is damaged when the client receive it how do you say mal manejado mishandle <laughs> mishandle Miss yeah mishandled. when something is mishandled and you're totally right now talking about perishable perishable items um i was reading an article about how japan japanese is how they did to bring tuna fresher really fresh from you know that some some kind of tunas they grow in really deep water right you have to go into really deep water in the ocean to fish big tunas, you know, really big. So they started doing it. But by the time tunas arrived to the shore, by the time tunas arrived to the shore, they were, they were not fresh. They were purple already, dead, stinky. You know, ugh. so but people didn't like that. So they thought about a way to do it. You know what they did? They built nice. they they built tanks to keep the tunas alive. So now the ships inside the ships is like a big pool where tunas can swim on the regular temperature of the water. That's what they did because they first tried. They first tried to freeze the tunas. That didn't work. Too many days to reach the shore, and then they changed the uh, strategy and they started using pools. That's a great idea. And now tuna is fresh in the shore, and everybody buys fresh tuna. 
What do you think about it? That's a great Very way. Very creative idea. Can what we have tuna? Tuna? You don't like tuna? I know. I don't Calvo? know. Calvo? Calvo tuna? <laughs> Come on. Yes, a, a tune. <laughs> a tune. Yeah. I should have seen the song, right? Pacifico Azul. Pacifico Azul. It's the same, the, for example, uh, the transportation, the flower in from Guatemala. Flour? Flour, yes. In uh, containers? In container, yes. And refrigerator? In fridges. Container, yes. Do they fridge? But, the do they freeze yes, the, um, the flour? Flour? Yeah, uh-huh. Um, I didn't know that. Guatemala tra travel the translate the flour in Coco is capullo. What? No. Blossom. Capullo? In blossom. blossom. In blossom. Yes, in blossom. And when the the travel the finish travel, the flower is very fresh. When the trip finishes. Finish. When the trip finishes, uh-huh. Yes. The, the flower, flower is fresh. It's fresh, yes. Okay, when the trip finishes, really. But flower, we're talking about the powder, right? Powder. Are we? Or are we, wait, we're talking about flowers. I thought you were saying flower, like, <laughs> like to cook. Oh my God, I'm sorry. Yeah, flower, 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 <laughs> flowers, flower. Okay. Wow. Yeah. That I, I heard about it, uh, roses, right? Big roses, big red roses. I love that place called Flores de Guatemala. Here in uh, Sicimiles, they're, they're really good on those kind of roses. Okay, so that can be used, okay. Teacher, hey. the name is the Thermo King. Thermo? Team. Team. Team, team Thermo Team. Thermo King. In the name of the the, the truck mm, container the, the, container. the, the container yeah. with, the, with, the, with the thermo key. Are you saying thermo T as in tango? T no, or? it's thermo king. king. Oh, yes. thermo king. Yeah, it's the name is the, the king. Container. Oh, okay, oh. that's new for me. Okay, I used to say it was just a truck with a freezer on the back. Okay, same thing yeah. happens with with lollipops, with ice cream, right? Okay, now, how important is placement for reaching the right target audience in this context, you know, of transportation, of, of um, distribution? Why do we have the need to move the product from the producer to or less teacher, the 20%, the price of the product is the, from transportation. Belongs to transportation. Yes. Like 20% of the price 20 of the product. More or less the 10, 20% you will pay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this let's. The general, the general, the general that's the world. In the whole world. Okay. World. And. But, High season yeah. is coming. Maybe the, the last year you you maybe pay the 10 percent, but now we change the price of the container. You, oh my you, god! You pay you pay the twenty percent or seven percent, for example. Have your prices have you increased the, have you increased the prices, Irvin? Oh. Irvin, one container from China. Five years ago, two thousand dollars. Uh huh. Two thousand uh, dollars. Uh -huh. Two thousand. Two thousand dollars. Now nineteen. Holy mother of God! Maybe you're saying twelve. I'm sorry, 15. twelve, and now nineteen. Now. 19. Wait, it's but before month. twelve or no, two? Twelve. Two thousand to seven. Two thousand. Two thousand. Oh my God. Yes. Yeah, that's so expensive. A, that's too much of increase. Oh my God. Yes, yes. 
in the United States, for example, you will, you will pay um, 2000 3000 now 7000 8000 Okay, Irwin, repeat. Fa Thousand. 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 Like zapato, thousand. thousand. There you go, thousand. Two thousand dollars. Wow. To, compared to nineteen thousand, that's seventeen thousand dollars in difference. Okay, let's talk about this process. You know, now that we're talking about the distribution, okay, think about the implications as we have been talking. How important is placement to reaching for reaching, I'm sorry, the right target audience? How important is it? And why I want you to figure out what is involved. I mean, what happened? Why do we have the need of moving all of our products through distribution channels? What are the distribution channels you know? Okay. And can you find a product? Can you find a product for other categories? Maybe not through the sea, you know, not the ships, but maybe uh, ground transportation, ground transportation, air transportation. You got it? Let's talk about this for a few minutes on small groups. Give your ideas of what you know, Thermo King. Okay, Andres, excellent. Okay, let's go in small groups and have a regular conversation for a few minutes and we come back, okay? To discuss this, let's go. Page 22. Tired. 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 There you go. <laughs> Tired. Para eso tienes que enrollar la lengua hasta atrás. Tired. Tired. Y luego hacer una D al final. Tired. I'm so tired. Tired. Uh -uh. You know, it's something I, I think that's why everyone's shy because at, at this time, maybe all of us are tired. I know, I know, but how come you speak when you come to small groups? Everybody wants to talk. I'm so <laughs> tired to say tired. <laughs> tired. Tired. Come on. Okay, go ahead. Have a conversation. Distribution channels, which ones do you know? Um, why are they important to reach the right audience? Okay. Uh, I think it's so important the place because it's not the same uh, try to sell your product uh, Metro Centro to sell in the, in the tiendita or near to your house. You need to search for a good place uh, where there you know there are many people to try to sell your product. I am alone. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking on distribution channels. I was thinking on ships, trucks, cars, yeah. airplanes. Containers. In, in, in the case of my company, we use containers uh, to send a product to uh, Mexico, uh, to the United States, uh, to receive. Okay, and what about the second question? Uh, how important is placement to reach the right target audience? Oh, 
¿Cómo se traduciría eh, la importancia de, de la colocación? La, de la colocación. Para lograr el objetivo de la audiencia que se requiere, asumo. Uh -huh. Good, good job. La clientela, la clientela que se necesita o que se requiere. Uh -huh. Teacher, this is technical English. I know. <laughs> yes. Which, which place? What's placement? No, web page. page. Oh, web page 22. Mm -hmm. 22, but the teacher sent the equation in the chat. Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay, yeah the same okay. questions about the, uh, oh, this. Sorry. remember that we always start with two questions or one or two questions. Every page has, every new topic, I shall say, holds one or two questions. So we said distribution, which, which distribution channels do you know? Okay, the distribution, the distribution, how say variety? Variety. There's a variety. Variety, variety yeah. of. Okay, I will explain something about this one. You had a marketing. The marketing have four variety that you can change. This is marketing mix: price, product, distribution, um, promotion. This is the variety that you can change in your company. This is a marketing mix that I we see in the class, we watch in the class. Mm -hmm. And the promotion have the our variety too. Yeah. To put the variables to make the promotion. Your own variables. Okay. Yes, our variables. This is the mixed promotion. And mixed place have the similar variety. How say the name? Variety, our variety. This is the, our your variety. own, your own variety. And, our variety. Okay. and the place, for example, we have a logistic. It's a variety. Um, the place, uh, place where you sell the product is a variety, and you can change in the world. Yeah, invent inventory. This is a inventory inventory. This is other variety you have in, in place. And logistic is the price. Okay, the logistic will affect the price in the company all the time because you will pay the transportation. And if you have a, a, a product in where in the place, for example, una bodega. This is other variety, okay? And if you have a good price in this variety that the place, you will have a good price with the customer. Yes? This is the, the theoric in the market with the own variety from the place. Okay, I'll go with that. Okay, someone else? I found uh, four, four distribution channels, producer, wholesaler, retailer, and consumer. Uh -huh. Yeah, and we're getting it. there, we're getting there, yeah. Uh -huh. Good job, <clears throat> good job, that's part of it. And we're about to talk about that. Okay, so tell your classmates, what did you find? Okay. There. <laughs> okay, so what are we talking about? Lack enough information on the competition. But... <laughs> Uh, actually, uh, I am reading about distribution and marketing. Good. Yes. Uh, you mean they, right now or at your they, job? They, no, they, no uh, right now. You're reading the, the research. The article 
said that there, is, there are uh, many factors to, to do in distribution, for example, uh, storage, distribution, logistics, and it, it is directly or indirectly channels, what yeah, that right providers that, that is many, many entities or factors that's, that is involved that in, are that, that are involved in the, the distribution of marketing. Yes, you got it. Okay, we're almost done, we're almost done. Have a conversation, guys, come on. Why is it important the placement for reaching the right target audience? Which is what we're about to talk about. Um, is 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 more the cost, but for uh, um, no reduce the cost. Reduce the cost oh, of transportation or the place uh, or the storage. Uh, and all, all for transportation is very difficult that for uh, uh, the eight. Uh, this is the coal uh, or the, the fridge. The temperature. Yeah, for, for uh, about uh, idea or product. Uh, and the product, uh, the, ¿cómo se llama? Huevo normal, ¿cómo sería? Regular ¿Sí? eggs. Regular eggs. Regular, yeah, for regular eggs. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, um, yes. Y, um, Y, y the the age the the job the 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 age is uh, the most and is the temperatures on the side. It says uh, for transportation and uh, and trucks the thermokin. Oh. Uh, es es como una uh, teachers um, una fábrica de huevo en polvo. Power eggs. Powder eggs. Yeah. Powder, powder eggs. I've heard about it. <laughs> uh, I can think about a powder egg. That's crazy. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. It includes the shelf. It includes the shelf. Okay. Let's go back. Okay, I think we're back. Yes, awesome, good job. You're here even before me, I can't believe it. Okay, really quick. So what was the most important thing to say on your group? Did you discover something new? Yes, for me, uh, the, the powder I, I <laughs> never hear about. The, the I never powder. heard. I never heard. I never, thanks. I never heard uh, about the powder. Egg. Me neither. Yeah. And the transportation is interesting. Uh, the how do you say uh, el cuidado de la mercadería? How they take care of the merchandise? Okay. How they take care of the merchandise? Okay. How difficult people say how difficult it is caring or taking care of the merchandise, how difficult it is. Yeah, having the right temperature. Okay. Regular. Regulate. 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 To regulate the temperature. the temperature on the truck. That's crazy. I, yeah. I wonder too uh, about the, the process to to make it powder. Like egg powder. Yeah, that I don't want to know. I don't want to know. <laughs> it's like you don't want, like you don't want to know how they make sausages, salchichas, sausages. <laughs> you don't want to know how they make salchichas. Don't, don't Google it. Don't, that, don't, no, Fernando, don't, don't Google it. I saw that. I saw that. It, you saw that. And then after I, can, I don't eat sausage uh, anymore. After that, I stopped. After, I quit. That. 
I quit eating sausages too. Yeah, I was like, no, no, I'm just lying. I, whenever I go to the chori, I go like four places. This is a very special. <laughs> this is the one. Healthiest. That's the, the healthiest one. Okay. Good job, Ivan. Okay. Someone else, come on. What called your attention about your discussion with your group? Hmm. Okay. Now, that was a trigger question, okay? A tricky question. I just wanted you to think about the distribution channel because it's very important when it comes to placement. What is placement? Can somebody describe what is placement in your own words? Not place, placement. Synonym? Placement. Placement, a synonym for placement. Mm -hmm. Start or put the, the, the merchandise in, in the right place. <laughs> uh huh. You're getting there. You're getting there. <laughs> put, in, put the thing in the right place. Um, huh? Position. It's like a library. What? Library? Library. Yes. A library? Yes. What happens with a library? There, there is a distribution by categories or in, in, in how do you say, pasillo? Whoa, no sé, pasillo. Oh, in the aisle. Yes. Uh, do you mean it's like the it's, aisles of a library? Like or uh, like a supermarket this is more is more the aisles on the supermarket mm, okay the, the products are categorized by by in, in 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 each aisle okay they're categorized they're organized based on their kind they accommodate the, to accommodate, accommodate the, the merchandising maybe the merchandise the, you, now you you have a point there an amazing point, supermarkets. Who works for any brand here? Who works for a brand here? A product brand? Anybody? Who works for a product brand that is sold at a supermarket? Nobody? All right, okay. What happens if your product is all the way to the bottom of the shelves? So on the shelves, as Fernando's saying, at the, you have the bottom, the second, the third, and the fourth shelf. What's the best place to be on? What is the best place to be on a shelf at Super Selectus, let's say? The middle. At the middle. In the middle. Why the middle? We are not dwarfs. We are not dwarfs. But most of us are. <laughs> Come on. In the middle, is yeah. It's the other It depends, teacher. It depends the merchant, the merchandise. For, for example, my 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 song mm -hmm. is very very small, and uh -huh. the the toys is the good um, place in the middle. <laughs> it depends. Oh, there are two things involved there, Wendy. It's up to remember. It's up to. We saw this in the previous model. When you want to say it depends, look for other words. It's up to the market, okay? The target market, which in this case is kids, okay? <laughs> it, it depends on that. It's up to the target market. So you're targeting kids. You know what I hate? For the last two years, when you go to the supermarket, they have placed toys, candies, where? Where? At the, 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 the cashier. The of the child. At the register. You're about to pay. And you, you're on the big line, right? And your kid goes like, buy me this, buy me that, buy me this, buy me that. Oh, my God. <laughs> Is that a marketing strategy? It's a sales yeah, strategy. And that's so aggressive sales strategy. Okay, good. So talking about positioning. So the middle now, the third line, let's say the third line is like, wow. 
you have the first line of products. What's the second place? Second shelf. Is it the second shelf? Or do you think it's the top one? No. No, no right? Yeah. <laughs> because, because don't have in the in the first, you check in the second. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, if there's nothing good on the third one, you go to the second row and so on. You keep going down, okay? Sometimes you may look up, but there are even empty spots. There are even empty spots on the top shelf. Right. So it's the same with the market. What happens with the market? What happens with positioning, with uh, allocating your product, placing your product in the market? Why is it important? Now that you thought about the shelves, think that the shelves are your country, are your city, let's say it's San Salvador. Okay. Let's go with a product. Give me a product. Give me a product. Any product. Right. Bumpers. What? Wait, Haiti? Bread. Bread. Mm -hmm. mm. Artisanal bread? Or Lido. Lido. Okay. What is, what is the best way of selling Lido bread? I find them in the last shelf. The last one. In the last shelf? Mm -hmm. The, the down one. The one below the others, mm -hmm. okay? Let's say the first. Uh, you, you know what? I have seen it here in Middle Bay in the third line or the second line, the second line. But it's a whole, I, I mean, what calls my attention is that they have sectioned, they mm -hmm. have sectioned the products like this, okay? It's not a horizontal line. Is a vertical line for products. Yeah. So here you have Bimbo, here you have Lido, then mm -hmm. you have Monarca, I think, and so on. Okay, so yeah. But now talking about the country, I mean the city, what's the best place to 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 place a, a um, the best place to place? Yes, the best place to place a product, one product. That is very common. Let's say you want to sell something. What are you going to sell? Give me a product. You are going to sell it. Fries. Fries. Okay. Fries. What's the best place to sell fries in San Salvador? Fries on a little dish, right? With mayo and mayo, I'm sorry, ketchup and cheese. And I got hungry and I'm on a diet. They're killing me. Uh-huh. A park. Park. A park? Yeah. Eh, yeah. Kids, right? Yeah. Hmm. Now let's put things more complex, more complicated. We're in a pandemic. A bus. At the bus? <laughs> oh my God. I don't know. That's a tough one. Nowadays, where can you sell fries? Hey, did I do the did I did I do the attendance? Yes, I did, right? Okay. Okay. Uh-huh. So fries. In a bus. Would you buy fries in a bus? No. Not these days. I don't think no. so. <laughs> okay. No. <laughs> what about coffee? You're going to. Buy a coffee in a bus? In that front of my house. In front of my house. The coffee. There's, I don't know who came up with the mm -hmm. idea of selling mm -hmm. coffee on the street with a backpack full of hot water. I don't know yes. whose idea so, was it. It's very bad idea. Why? They sell a oh. lot. Yes. They yeah. sell. Yeah, I know. Of course. They sell man. chocolate and coffee and with and they, they have cremers. creamers. Yeah, they have creamers and everything. Even they bread. Have, they have tea yeah. and chocolate. Yeah, even bread. 
<laughs> and they go around call centers, right? Just yes. <laughs> at the university. At the university. Uh, placement. Yeah. Placement. Okay. Hot dogs. Out of the university or, or school. <laughs> okay. University, at the university. Okay. So. Crowded places. Crowded places. That's what you're looking for. You got the term, right? Crowded. Cuche. Crowded. Mm. In good Salvadorian, crowded. Crowded. Crowded places. Crowded house. Yes, that's a good band. Okay, so talking about distribution channels, let's just take a look at something that you may have seen on the website on if you Googled. Distributor, distributor, distributor profiles, distributor profiles. So we, we have distributors, wholesalers, retailers, and agents, but there's something missing here. What are we missing in this chart? E-commerce. E-commerce. I don't get that term. We will see it, but no. I was thinking about the main source. What is the main source for all of these guys? Producer. You got it. Sure. How else can you say producer? The beginning. Arteries. Mm -hmm. Producer. Manufacturers. One there you go. Manufacturers. Manufacturers, producers. Okay. So after they produce the product, right? The producer produces the product. The producer produces the product. No, wait. The producer produces the product. After the producer <laughs> produces the product, what happens? First, we have the distributors. Distributors are in charge of moving, right? The products, uh, let me see. Da, 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 da. Someone who's always very quiet. Hey, Juan Francisco, try it. Can you start reading, please? The first one. Here you go. Involved. Involved. Involved in sell. Um, marketing, relationship with manufacturers, good beyond fulfilling and delivering orders, study the market actively. Actively. Actually. Okay. Can somebody define what a distributor is? Is I said S. What is a distributor? Maybe the company that produced the product. An intermediary. An intermediary. Who sells the, the merchandise? Mm -hmm. It's the connection who drives uh, the product to the, to the customer with the producers to the, to the customer uh, to the customers to the customers yeah or the sellers could be can you become a distributor oh yeah buying old sell wait wait we're just talking about distributors right now but can you become a distributor? Mm. Look at the picture. Okay, in El Salvador, can you name one distributor? Disasa. Excellent. You got it. Disasa. What products do they distribute? A lot of products. Oof. Chivas. Head and shoulders, Chivas. I think and Olgate. Hershey's. Hershey's. I mean, you name it. Disasa is the one of the biggest distributors in El Salvador. Mm -hmm. They have so many brands. So if Disasa is a distributor, what is a distributor? 
They build relationship with manufacturers. Oh. So can you become a, a distributor? No, no. Because that takes, I don't know, years of experience um, to go. It's like, I, I, I just picture it like you going to the United States, to Germany, I don't know, to uh, many other countries, going to the manufacturers of products, talking to them. And number two, you're going to buy big time. You're going to buy big, buy big time, like uh, huge orders. It's not just one product or 10, it's thousands of units. And you are going to move them to El Salvador. What is next? Okay, what is next? Oh, they go beyond fulfilling and delivering orders, the distributors. They study the market. I didn't know this. I didn't know that they used to study the market, but it makes sense, right? Do we need, do we need, uh, how do you call this? Temperature regulators? thermostats for homes in El Salvador. Do we need thermostats in El Salvador? Thermostatos? No. No, no right. So that's a study. It's too hot in El Salvador to sell thermostats. You don't need to heat up your house. You don't need to heat up your house. It's too hot already. Makes sense, right? So they have to study the market. Okay. Wholesalers. Wholesalers. I'm going to choose people with their camera off who I know who talk. William Alexander, why are you so quiet and dark? William Alexander, come on, turn on your camera. Sandrita, I, I haven't heard Sandrita in a long time. Sandra, are you having problems with your camera? I think she's busy maybe working or something. I don't want to bother you guys. Okay, uh, let me see. Jocelyn, I like your voice. Okay, they want to read the second one, right? Yes, please. Okay, fulfill retail orders. Mm -hmm, sorry. <clears throat> okay, fulfill retail orders. We sell goods in bulk. Focus only on storage and delivery goods. A buy from distribution or manufacturers. Good. Thank you. Whole sellers. Let's talk about word decomposition. Remember? How do you decompose this word? You have whole and sellers. Two words. They sell everything, right? Whole sellers. Okay. How this work? How this works? Fulfill retail orders. Now, yes, we will talk about retailers in just a second. They fulfill these guys, okay? They go to these guys and they fulfill them, their orders. Resell goods in bulk. What do you understand by bulk? A bulk order? Bulk order? No idea? No, no, teacher. Okay, a bulk could be uh, something that happens to Banco Gujatlan. You have bulk orders, like let's say that I want to give um, a prepaid card, a prepaid card from Banco Guzcatlan to my employees. So I buy 1,000 prepaid cards with $25 on each. That's a bulk order, 1,000 at one. One order of 1,000, that's a bulk. Another synonym will be a batch. A batch. Oh, batch. Mm -hmm. That's a synonym. Okay. A batch of product. Hey, like Boquitas Diana. Right? In the United States, they take this very seriously on retail stores. We will see that. But batches of product. So let's say the store bought, I don't know, 100 churritos. 
they were all together. They all came from the factory on the same box, on the same box, 100 churritos on the same box. If you buy five churritos tied, tied together, you will find um, a number and an identificator on each churrito, which tells you which batch they belong to. So if you get intoxicated by a churrito and you're about to die, one of the things that Diana- Like a lot. The lot, thank you. That's the word that I was looking for, a lot. The lot number, okay? They will ask you, hey, what's the lot number on the package? Please tell us because we have to stop. We have to look for, look for the whole lot and remove it from the market. So anybody, so nobody else get intoxicated, you know, with this product. Makes sense, right? Oh, that makes sense. Okay, so they resell goods in bulk. They don't sell one unit, two units. Wholesalers, wholesalers sell bulks of products. I want a thousand. Who is a wholesaler in El Salvador? And it looks like a retailer. Price Mart. There you go. Price Mart could be a wholesaler. In some products, they do. They still, they came to El Salvador with the idea of being a wholesaler, but you know, they had to adapt to the market. Think about it. Okay, focus only on storage and delivery goods buy from distributor oh, or manufacturers. Another one buying directly from the manufacturers. They have money. Let's go with retailers, which is easier, let's say. Um, Rene, retailers. <clears throat> what teacher? Would you please read? Oh yeah, retailer. Outlets to purchase products so in stores or online by from distributors or wholesalers. 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 Ah, wholesalers. Uh -huh. Okay. Wholesalers. 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 Okay. An example of this. The Simpsons. <laughs> Would you like to buy something, Mister? Simpson. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Apple, Apple owns a retail store. What is the meaning of retail store? For me, it sounds like a branch or not? Yeah, different branches. An example of retail store in El Salvador? Uh, it could be, for example, a dog. Mm -mm. No, a dog is, is its own. They have the company and they have branches. They, they, ad hoc has its own distribution channels. Uh, Super Selectos. Yes. Walmart. Mm, yes, Walmart, but think smaller. I think we don't have this in El Salvador. Uh, I'm thinking more of. In, in the States, there's a, like Omnisport. Omnisport, yes. Yes, that's a retail store. How about the companies that sell cars? Oh, those are dealers. Uh -huh. They deal with products that don't belong to them. Oh, they don't belong to their dealers. Dealers have their own. Um, store but they sell products that don't belong to them um in the case of retailers most part of the times they pay almost the whole thing you know they sell it and if something is bad they have to return it they have their own policies but retailers franchise franchise stores okay franchise stores in the States, it's very common, this. And you have seen it on movies like uh, 
the Avengers, Thor, Dark, no, Thor, the first Thor, Superman, okay? And all of these superheroes go through the stores. 7-Eleven, for example, you have a whole lot of 7-Elevens in the States. Those are retail stores. And now they can sell in the store or online. They even have online. You know what's new in the States? Delivery. I mean, delivery was 20, let me see, 2018. They were starting with the delivery. You call, you make your, or you make through the app, the order, and they take it to your house. From the, the closest 7-Eleven they have, they take your products, beverages, coffees, bread, whatever you need, pampers, anything. Okay. Now they buy from distributors or wholesalers. They don't buy from manufacturers. They must go through distributors or whole, 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 uh, sorry, wholesalers. Another type of retail, if you want to see it this way, you remember Ratatouille? Yes. You remember how they used to buy the vegetables? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So that's part of the distribution channel. They buy from the distributor directly. Remember? Yes. You know, they go like, oh, the secret is buying vegetables directly from the distributors and being the first one on buying the vegetables, right? The, the girl explains to the guy. Okay. Lastly, agents. I want to understand this. Agents. Fernando. Agents. Mm, in El Salvador, I no, read. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, handle special shipments and contracts. Hmm. Work on marketing. Specialize in customer relationship management. Hmm. Own products by representing producers. Oh, now I got it. I got it. Did you get it? What is it? Give me an example. Mm. Uh, Look at the last one. Own products by representing producers. That we generate with our our work or your our job. Our job, okay. And an example of store that you may have seen like that. This could be a store or just one person. Have you ever buy? Uh, have you ever bought? I'm sorry, a water filter, a Starline, I think they're called water filters. Yes. Okay. The representatives even use some uh, uniform from the company, right? But they don't have they don't have a specific retail store. It's just people selling their product. Those could be agents. Now, pay attention to the two middle ones. They work on marketing. It, they, it means that they their life, the life of these agents is selling their product. Herbal life. Herbal life. They specialize in customer relationship management. <laughs> customer, customer relationship mm -hmm. management. Have you ever been invited to one of these forums to talk about your life and Herbalife or Ziti? Ziti, I think the other one is, right? Chains. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. A net networks. Working networks, networks, networking. That's another topic. Okay, so that's the idea. Those are distributors, um, type of types of distributors that you may find. Okay, let's go with the boring part. I'm gonna send you a link so you can scan some lecturing. It will be very interesting for you. Don't stick to the. No, say not. How do you? Say, don't stick to the. Graphics, okay? No se claven con los gráficos. Just take a look at them. I want you to pay attention to the main topics like types of distribution channels, um, 
indirect, dual distribution, reverse channels, types of intermediaries. I don't like this word, intermediate, intermediaries, 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 types of intermediaries. Uh, who intermediates? Agents, wholesalers, distributors, retailers. The importance of distribution channels. You know what? I'm just going to send you this. Why is it important to have a distribution channel? So you can have a brief idea in groups of what we're talking about. There you have. This is part of your books. Hold on, what did I copy? Hold on. Did I copy the whole thing? Oh my God. Wait a minute. Don't pay attention to that. Okay, I'm not, yep, sorry. And there is the word that I just gave you today, rely, rely. It's called the importance, importance of distribution channels. Um, but still, I'll send you the link so you can locate this reading for later if you want. And this is still talking about the marketing mix. It covers the whole um, topic. Assessing possible channels cost. So your duty right now will be scanning this page and finding important topics and retelling to the class what you found related to place. We're talking about placement now, but really quick guys, placement. Let me tell you a quick story. I have an aunt, I have an aunt who is, one second please, es un para ti. <laughs> so I have an aunt, um, who started, she, she just made to fifth grade, okay? She didn't go to school. She just made to fifth grade and she's the best, the best seller I ever met. She started a business sewing, sewing suits for, for women. How do you call it? Dresses, dresses, okay, for women. And she told me once, if you Rafa, she said, I was like 11 years old. And she was like, Rafa, I'm about to start my store. Should I open my store downtown? In downtown San Salvador or in La Escalón? I was like, I don't know. Why don't you open it here in, I don't know, here in, in San Salvador, right? In, like near to Cine, near to the, the West, near to the West. Why don't you open the store here? No, she told me I was 11. When you start a business, if your product is good, you have to aim to the moon. You know what is aim to the moon? Yes. Yeah. Aim to the moon, she said. She started her store in Les Calon. Each dress was over $100. I was amazing. I was like, what the, how did you do that, right? She just said, oh, you just have to aim to the moon. That's all. Be positive and people will pay you for your good products. So think about it while you read this. Uh, it's very important placement in this topic. So let's go in small groups and come up with at least two concepts, guys, that you learned from this lecture, okay? It's really long. So scan it very well. Let's go.
That's a question. Uh, only read the your chat in the chat. Su misión ahorita, chicos, es encontrar dos temas que les llamen la atención dentro de esta lectura relacionados a placement. Uh, estamos hablando que es placement. Um, Oh my God. Posicionar tu producto. ¿Dónde lo vas a posicionar? Ese es el, el tema. Placement. Ok. So dentro de esta lectura, de hecho, hay una parte que dice Impact of Marketing Mix on Place. Por ahí pueden empezar. Okay. Ahí empiezan a hablar de. Right. Ok, teacher. Good, good. Okay, your mission is to identify two topics, right? Let's say two concepts. And among this reading, you may start where it says uh, impact of marketing mix on place, for example. Uh, and you will find impact of product issues, pricing issues, promotion issues. Example of direct selling. At Dell computers, there's a practical example and so on. So you can find meaning to this. Managing distribution channels is really complex, but it holds a lot of information about the topic. Questions? Are you talking about sure. the link? Yeah, the link. Oh, let me see. And um, you have also the importance of the distribution channels on the chat I see. Mm -hmm. By the way, I have mm -hmm. to send you the image as well. Hold on. I was thinking more of. Just a minute. About place and introduction, distribution channels, intermediate. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. oh, That last story is really nice. I can hear myself when I speak. Where did you say we should start, teacher? Um, what I just sent, um, impact of marketing mix on place. The impact of marketing mix on place. No elements of the marketing mix works in isolation. Information from each of them acts mm. as input to the others. This mm. is why. Mm -hmm. I found it. The impact <laughs> of marketing mix on place. No element of the marketing mix works in isolations. Think Isolation. about it. For example, you could talk about why is that? Why is it that the each element of the marketing mix doesn't work in isolation? I mean, how come? Mm -hmm. Right? Oh, because you have to work. Think of, uh, of the four as one, right? The four piece as one thing. 
as well. You have to consider if you're thinking about the place, you have to think about the price, about the product, is it convenience for your market, right? And so on. You have to mix everything. It's crazy. Okay. So just think about it, okay? okay. Be right back. Mix on place. Está grande eso. No, me chele. In marketing, mixing. It's, it's long. Place, no element. Marketing Impact mix. of marketing mix on place. Just give it a reading. I mean, it's not a, that long, but it's very informative. Su, su trabajo ahorita va a ser determinar qué les llama la atención de eso que, que está ahí. Escanea. No es necesario que lo leas todo. Escanea. Por ejemplo, direct selling at Dell Computers. Ahí te pintan un caso de las computadoras Dell. Cómo fue fundada. Okay. Nineteen eighty Insulation, insulation, worse insulation. Unit. Isolation, that's a good word. Computer. Insulation. Let me know if you have a question. Window There's a lot to read. 
I know. Five more minutes and we're done, don't worry. often help decide the type of distribution channel. If this price does not allow a high margin, then a company may choose to use less intermediaries in its channel to ensure that everyone gets their good at reasonable cost to the manufacturer. Impact of promotion issues, the nature of the product also has an impact on the type of promotion required to sell it. These promotion decisions will interdirectly affect the distribution decision. Disposable goods or those of everyday use do not require too many special channels. But for a car, there needs to be extensive salesperson, salesperson and user interaction. For this type of product, a specialist channel may be needed. Okay. I will continue. I feel, I feel like I am in the university study uh, bachelor. Or <laughs> degree. Okay. Yeah. Why? Too much to read? It's very interesting, actually, if you think about it. Yeah. Yeah, it's interesting. Yes, your mission was to select two two topics, let's say, two things that call your attention. For example, product, I mean, um, isolation, isolation on the marketing mix. You cannot isolate one of the four Ps, right? You have to consider them all to perform the marketing mix, right? When okay. talking about place, you have to consider if the product will suit the needs of that market where you want to place this, the product, the price, will they like the price? Okay. And what was the fourth P? I always forget about the fourth the product, the product, the place, the price, yeah. and promotions. What promotions can you apply on that place? Okay. And so on. Keep going. We're missing two minutes and we're done. Okay. Okay. Sure. Address or inform operator product price and promotion may have the following impacts on the distribution strategy impact of product issues the type of product being manufactured is often the decided factor in distribution decisions a delicate of perishable product will need a special special ar arrangement while sturdy or durable products will not require such delicate handling. Impact of pricing issues. An assessment of the right price for a product is made by the marketing team. This is the price at which the customer will be willing to make the purchase. This price will often help decide the type of distribution channel. If this price does not allow a high margin, they, then a company may choose to use less intermediaries in its channel to ensure that everyone gets their good at a reasonable cost to the manufacturer. Impact of promotion issues. Impact of promotion issues. The nature of the product also has an impact on the type of promotion required to sell it. These promotion decision, decisions will in turn directly affect the distribution decisions. Disposable goods or those of everyday use do not require too many special channels. But for a car, there needs to be extensive salesperson and user interaction. For this type of product, a specialist channel may be, may be need. Example, direct selling at Dell computers 
Dell Computers was founded by a college freshman, freshman Michael Dell by 1985. Okay, I think we're back, right? Almost, wow. Okay, so for this class last thing we want to do after you have read a little bit about a little bit about <laughs> this topic we read about distribution and we read about placement right a little bit about placement what's your opinion about this whole thing of the placement and in the marketing mix Um, at the beginning, you could have read that you cannot isolate none of the p four Ps, right? You need to consider the four Ps. But the place is very important um, because in, in the end, everything is one thing. So if you want to start your business in Santa Elena, will you offer the same price as the store? Let's say you have different branches. Will you offer the same price in Santa Elena and in Soyapango or in downtown? No, it cannot be the same because it's different kind of customers. Okay, but it's the same product. Mm, different yes, it's the same product, but the, the location is different target market, yes, I can mention. Different target market. Okay, can you offer the same promotions? Mm. Yes, no. I think no. No, okay. Good. Um, so you got the idea about that part. Let's see, price must be different. Promotions must be different. The product will always be the same, right? Or can you change the label? Can you offer one flavor of a product in Santa Elena? and a different flavor in Soyapango. Hmm. In that case is, is something in different countries with the brands, for example. Uh, in El Salvador, maybe uh, a brand or a product has uh, an image specifically of an animal or in other countries, that animal, for example, maybe is for is not allowed, so they for change. They what are change you thinking? The, what are you thinking about? Uh, Kellogg's. Uh, I thought you were thinking about cows. Ah, yes, yeah. maybe in, in Asia, India. In India, uh, you cannot sell something with a cow. Uh, yes. Yeah, but it's the new is the same brand the, the same product the same name but different image got it you got it market changes definitely you have to adapt to the culture and people's behavior um can you sell cappuccinos you know like uh frozen frozen cappuccinos like the ones from la panettiere offer them in soyapango for five dollars each Mm. nowadays you know what nowadays people try to be fancy right so they will buy it for a moment 
for some time. Can you open a Starbucks in Soyapango? And I'm talking about the margaritas or places like, you know, very populate, popular places, let's say. It's not discrimination, it's reality. Talking about the market, I mean, I will not, never open a franchise of, what did I say? Uh, Starbucks, all yeah. the way there, you know, it will not work. Or in the economic Latin. level or for chasing is different. Yes, you got it. The income of the families is something that you have to consider. You got it. Okay. Thanks. Now for homework. Homework? Yes. <laughs> for homework, think about what we've talked about. <clears throat> Sorry. Think about two companies, their location, their specific location, and are there promotions? I don't know, um, are there promotions suitable? That's the word, suitable for their location. Just the example that I just gave you. I mean, think about a company, their location, or the story, for example, of a company that chose a grown location and went on bankruptcy. I have a, uh, an example here near my house it was the Grand Dollar. Have you seen a Grand Dollar? Anywhere? Yes. yes, yes well, yes, yes. There, there was a Grand Dollar here in Constitución. I don't know if you have ever heard about it. I it, don't know if the, the, in the San Luis Plaza, maybe. Mm -hmm. No, not, it's not the same. No, no, no. In Boulevard Constitución, near La Texaco, near Calle Antigua El Volcán, mm -hmm. they, they opened a big store, Grand Dollar. And one day, a gangster stopped by and he said, if you're going to open this store here, you have to pay me the rent. And they said, we're not paying you nothing. This was like five years ago. We're not paying you nothing. So later, like one week later, he came back and he killed two guards. He, he killed two, two guards. They closed the store. And that place is still empty. Nobody has rent that place. It's crazy. What 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 happened? Bad location? Yes. Could be. Think about it and tomorrow bring your ideas to the class, please, and talk. I'm staying with Francisco tonight. Okay. Good night, everybody. Ada Susana Caceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Good night. Alex, good night, Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present teacher, good night. Good night, Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martinez. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher, good night. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present, good night. Present teacher. Thank you, Elvin. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Good night. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chavez. Present teacher. Good night, everybody. Good night. Jose Antonio Cubillas Hernandez. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Alberto Salas Benitez. Present teacher. Good night, everybody. Good night. Juan Francisco Enriquez González. Present teacher. Okay. Nos quedamos diez minutitos, Juan. Jerry Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present teacher. Thank you for staying with us. Miguel Angel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Good night. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present teacher. Good night. Werner Mauricio Reyes Angel. He was here. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Suleyma Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Alan Christopher Abrego Vizuela. Carolina Yvette Romero Avelino. Present. Good night. Good night. Irene Azucena Cuellar Albanez. Isela Lina Miranda Espinosa. Iván Manuel Jerez Pérez. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. 
Present teacher, good night. Good night, and Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present teacher, good night, bye. Good night, bye bye. Juan Francisco. How are you? Verdad que se está trabajando. Es primera vez que tenemos una sesión, ¿verdad? Ok, tranquilo. Juan Francisco, vamos a ver si se ve como que si fuera de día donde está. La luz, la luz es blanca. Eh, hágame un favor, vamos a hacer el micrófono un poquito hacia usted. Cuidado. A ver, pruebe, probando, probando, uno, dos. Probando, probando, uno, dos. Ah, está mejor. Ok. Bien, siempre en las primeras sesiones yo suelo preguntarles, eh, hacer dos preguntas, ¿no? Y la primera, ¿qué estoy haciendo fuera de la clase para practicar mi inglés? Esa es la primera pregunta. ¿Qué estoy haciendo fuera de la clase para practicar mi inglés? Eh, y la segunda, eh, que debería ser la primera en realidad, ¿cuál ha sido su experiencia con el inglés? O sea, ya había estudiado, es primera vez que está en un curso de inglés y si viene desde de, de, el uno con, con inglés corporativo, eso es muy importante. Este, vengo desde el módulo 1, es la primera vez que estoy en un curso. Hmm. Eh, okay. Pues este, yo estoy haciendo es, este, tratando de ver la serie y tratando mucho porque cuando uh -huh. hay parte, del curso pasado ahí en los dijo que tratáramos de en la noche hacer este, recordar en inglés lo que es las actividades del día he estado uh -huh. siempre a veces lo que a mí me cuesta es que a veces para cuando ya estoy en clase pienso en español y ahí estoy como este traduciendo el español uh -huh. entonces me está costando Ok. Y había este, solo acá he estudiado entonces, primera vez. Sí, o sea, con nosotros bien. ya. Ok, ok. Vamos a ver. A ver, Juan Francisco. Eh, lo que ocurre es que, porque me cuesta ver ahorita series en inglés o mi oído no está muy desarrollado. Quizás porque eh, hay que darle el contexto al, al cerebro de, de qué es lo que estoy haciendo, o sea eh, así como cuando aprendimos a hablar desde chiquitos lo mismo ocurre eh, lo mismo, permítame, lo mismo ocurrir con nuestro cerebro al introducir un nuevo lenguaje, otra manera de decir las cosas es como crear una biblioteca nueva crear una nueva biblioteca sobre eh, lo que quiero aprender ¿Cómo lo hago? sin forzar el cerebro, sin forzarlo. ¿Se fijó que había enviado un listado de verbos en, en el grupo? Sí, sí, ahí lo, ahí lo tengo impreso. Uh -huh. Te creo que tam también les envié esto. Sí. Eh, vaya, esto, si usted de verdad quiere aprender inglés y quiere hacer el sacrificio de, de dedicarle tiempo, por lo menos una hora a esto, aparte de la clase en la noche, ¿no? eh, puede hacer esto. Empieza desde cero. Todos los tiempos gramaticales que ya vio. En primer lugar, disciplinarse, organizar su tiempo. ¿Cómo lo hago? Fíjense que a mí me toca tomar pastillas, me toca tomar agua incluso. Hasta para eso estoy poniendo alarma ya porque pasó tan ocupado que se me olvida. Se me olvida. Y así somos todos. Entonces, ocupo el teléfono, le pongo alarmas y aunque lo detesto a veces porque me suenan días que no debe, veo, estoy de vacaciones y suena la cosa, pero es, es la única manera en la que nosotros los adultos nos forzamos a lograr algo, oiga solo lo, los adultos nos pasa, solo así podemos lograr algo, de hecho los seres humanos, ni no, los niños les decimos que hagan, que hagan algo y no hacen caso, lo mismo ¿no? entonces me quiero forzar a hacer algo me voy a buscar un método que me sirva para 
presionarme, recordarme todos los días a qué horas exactamente yo me puedo sentar y no me voy a despegar de ahí hasta que termine. ¿Ok? Primer lugar, disciplina. Segundo lugar, vamos a ocupar esto. Y sí, lo que le dijo la teacher, perfecto. Hay que recordar y ver qué es lo que he hecho, qué es lo que hago, dónde estoy, qué estoy comiendo. Y todo eso se puede decir en inglés. Pero yo soy más, y lo digo por cómo yo aprendí yo solito con un diccionario. Por eso, porque yo me preguntaba a cada momento, ¿qué me rodea? ¿Dónde estoy? Y todo se puede decir en inglés. Pero eso me sirve para vocabulario más que todo. ¿Cómo le doy el contexto a mi cerebro? A mi cerebro le encantan los colores. ¿Sí o no? Ahorita solo, en esta tarea solo les he puesto rojo, amarillo. Ok. Pero usted puede incluso, tener una, he tenido varios alumnos que compran la cajita de colores. Porque les encanta. Entonces, lo hacen con colores. ¿Qué es lo que voy a poner en color? El verbo, la palabra si es nueva para mí. Es su significado. Porque al final estoy aprendiendo todavía. Entonces, mi cerebro necesita entender que trabajar se dice work. Que horario se dice schedule. Y está relacionado entre sí, ¿verdad? Trabajar, horario. Ahora, el lunes, agarro el presente simple. Empiezo, she works in the morning schedule. She doesn't work in the morning schedule. Luego, cambio el verbo. Cambio la palabra. Sigo, positivo, negativo, pregunta. Pregunta abierta. Ocupo las WH que ya las vi también. Ok, hice cinco verbos y cinco palabras. ¿Por qué tanto, teacher? Ah, porque tengo comprobado en siete años de aplicar este volado que me inventé que no, no se le va a quedar más que dos verbos dos palabras Ey, pero de eso van a ser nada el día y a ley se le va a quedar ¿por qué? porque su cerebro tiene la capacidad pero uno no lo cree entonces hay que darse paz uno solo voy a hacer esto, ya va a ver, es mala gana el primer día Ay, ya estaba abusado otra vez ya tercer día Ey. Qué rápido es este volado ahora. Quinto, segunda semana. Hey, ya, ya me aprendí el presente simple, ya no me equivoco. Agregándole ese al verbo. Y así, ahora. Teacher, pero eso solo es escribir, teacher. Eso creemos, pero después, cuando ya empezamos a intentar hablar, nuestro cerebro ya tiene la información ahí guardada. Sí, entonces, se puede. Ojo, es una muy buena recomendación. Ahora, esto es el lunes. El martes hago lo mismo, pero voy a cambiar el tiempo gramatical. ¿Qué puedo hacer? Ya vi presente simple, pasado simple, futuro simple. Ok, vamos al okay, presente continuo, pasado continuo, futuro continuo. Y ahí voy cambiando y voy cambiando una, un tiempo gramatical por día. O lo que más me cuesta, Juan. Así. Entonces, pero claro, todo esto depende de una cosa nada más que va atada a la otra la disciplina una persona con necesidad se puede disciplinar más fácil que una que no tiene la necesidad ¿sí o no? entonces piense esta noche, ahorita se va a quedar trabajando está de turno ah pues esta noche pídale a Diosito que lo ilumine y diga realmente necesito hablar inglés ¿cuánto dinero gano ahorita? No les enseñé una boleta de pago que ya tengo guardada. Un compañero sí. mío hizo en una quincena en el call center dos mil dólares. Dos mil dólares en una quincena. ¿Cómo lo logró? No, pues no dormía. Trabajó las dos semanas desde esa quincena porque la hija estaba enferma y aprovechó que dijeron, bueno, señores, hay horas extras abiertas. Ustedes se pueden quedar todo el día si quieren ahí sentados y tomen llamadas, hagan caso, ¿verdad? hagan lo que tienen que hacer. Y lo hizo. Y no es paja. Media hora en el día se desconectaba. Se iba a bañar. Eh, y regresaba. Porque como aquí sentado. Vea, Ajá, como a veces es. sin nada que hacer. Ahí le trae la mujer a uno la comida. Come tranquilo. Y sigue contestando llamadas. Chivo el trabajo va. Y logró salir con la urgencia que tenía. Gracias a Dios. Compró un montón de medicinas a la hija. Le hizo los exámenes. Todo bien. Gracias a Dios. O sea. Se puede. Pero eso sí, quiere un sacrificio enorme. Lo mismo es con el inglés, aprenderlo a hablar. Pero hay que hacerle, si realmente uno lo necesita. Entonces, le invito a eso, organícese hoy en la noche. Esto es para servirle 
escríbame si no tienen alguna duda o mire, teacher, ¿cómo en el volado? <ríe> ya se me olvidó. <ríe> Ahí okay. estamos, ¿ok? Muchas gracias, teacher. Cuídense mucho, que, que descanse. Ok. Muchas <ríe> gracias. Good night, Juan. Bye bye. Good night. Bye bye.